Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Now, um, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words Transformation Boulevard. Holistic change, boulevard, that is like street, boulevard. So I'm talking about Transformation Boulevard. You know, there is a street that each and every one of us need to walk if we want to make progress with God. There is a place we need to walk if we need to, if, if we want to make progress with God and the things of God. It's called the Transformation Boulevard. Romans 12, verse um, 2 and uh, 3 uh, says something. Finally, my brethren, I beseech you by the mercies of the living God uh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord. And then says something. And do not, be uh, do not be conformed to this world. He said, do not be conformed to this world. But be ye therefore transformed by the renewal of your mind. God is saying something. He said, listen, if you want to walk with me, if you want to, uh, to assess the goodness, if you want to, then sometimes we need a mental transformation. He said, be therefore transformed by the renewal of your mind. That means sometimes we need to take out the garbage of our yesterday, the garbage of faithlessness, the garbage of pride, the garbage of this, and throw them all away and be renewed in our mind. Sometimes we need a mind renewal. The mind is the biggest battle place between God and the enemy. And, and there's a saying that is very true. You can't keep the birds from flying over the birds from flying over your head, but you can keep them from building a nest in your head. And one of the things that the enemy does, he feeds our minds with mental pictures of failure, defeat, mental pictures of fear, mental pictures of, of suspicion, mental pictures of accusation, and he fills our minds. So our minds are befuddled by all the garbage of these pictures that I, that I, I just postulated, that I just threw out. And God says, listen, if you want to see God, and if you want to see God's heart, a hand in your life and you want to see this thing you need to renew your mind I remember when we were kids you know we were told that you don't whistle in the night so I'll wake up I mean well sometimes when you're whistling in the night say hey, hey, hey don't whistle in the night why because a ghost will kiss you and then your, your mouth is going to get swollen in the morning and one time I just said I said well, what sort of theology is this so I started whistling and I was whistling to a fine praise and worship music I was, whist I, I was whistling to it, and I was enjoying the whistling. And I was enjoying the music. And the people around me were all whistling. Some were staring at me. What in the world are you doing? My mouth never got swollen. My mouth never got swollen. And then I realized that what? By that act, I had gone through a mental transformation. You know what God is saying? Change begins here. Change begins from your mind. Your mind then becomes a doorway to your heart. Or your mind becomes a doorway to your spirit. So he said, be transformed by the renewal of your mind. We're looking for uh, transformations. We are looking for God to do something to transform us in this thing. It starts with the mind. Be therefore transformed by the renewal of your mind. And by the renewal of your mind, take what you know and measure it with what God's word says. And throw out the garbage of what you know and replace it with what God's word says. Men call you a failure. God calls you more than a, 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 an overcomer. More than conquerors. That's how this thing. Thank God in Christ. Men, men, men will tell you that this, you must be afraid. But you need to say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Replace the garbage. Replace the failure. Replace the, replace the theology of defeat. Replace the theology of, of poverty. Replace the, this thing by the renewal of your mind. By bringing in God's word. What God says is more important. Whose report would you believe? Would you believe God's report or you believe the report of men? I choose to believe the report of God. By the renewal of your mind. Mental renewal. 
And we're not just renewing it by just rubbing off the garbage, but filling it with scripture, filling it with what God says. Sometimes people look at me and they say, oh man, you have a ton of faith. No, I don't have a ton of faith. I just need a mustard seed of faith that will grow. I've been through some experiences that has built up my faith. And as a result of that, I am confident. I have that confidence in the God I serve. I have confidence in him. I'm being honest with you. I have confidence in the God I serve. Oh my goodness, I have confidence in him. He has proven himself beyond every shadow of doubt that he's a faithful God. He starts uh, uh, last year through the pandemic, through the COVID. I'm telling you, whilst other people were crying misery and crying loss, God was pouring blessings. The same God who divided the Red Sea and made his people walk on dry ground. He's the same God who will look after me through the years. And he has looked after me. He's been a faithful God. I have a litany of God's faithfulness. I, I, have, I have chapters of God's faithfulness behind me. I can tell you this. There's no space for demonic activity to follow me. Because behind me is filled with goodness and mercy. Transformation Boulevard. You want to see God? Walk that street. You want to experience God this year? Walk that street. It's about time we renew our mind about God, about his word. And the agent, the tool that God has given us to renew our mind is what his word says. Whose report would you believe? I choose to believe the report of God. Transformation Boulevard is a choice. You can walk or not. Simply put, the choice is yours. See you later.